Hello and welcome to News 500. I'm Stephen Allen. And I'm Archie Maddox. And these are the headlines. Good health news as Bob Geldof has banned AIDS. UK open sperm bank, not the first time I've made a deposit through a hole in the wall. And virus found to make humans stupid and... According to the Daily Express, it takes six steps to fight diabetes, but many people are too fat to take them. According to a new report today, there was no cover-up during the historical abuse of the 1970s and 80s. It is said that a failure to cover up was part of the problem. It's that time of year again when middle-class people are brought to tears by the new John Lewis ad, while the rest of us are brought to tears by their prices. Age UK claim 206 people will die every day through the winter because they cannot afford to stay warm. Official advice is for old people to go to their local crematorium where there'll be a nice big fire. A bride and groom spent their wedding night in the cells after she hurled racist abuse at hotel staff. That's what happens when the something borrowed is Ron Atkinson's opinions. Topical. Harvard University has begun teaching an anal sex class. It's the only class where sleeping with the teacher to get a good grade is mandatory. The faculty body gave this course a thumbs up. You realise it's not a thumb that you shove. You need to do that course. I'd get a gold star. You'd get a brown star. Speaking of which, it's better to give than to receive is a phrase that makes you think of charity. With more on this, here's Stuart Black with a special report. Children, children in need. That pious jamboree of celebrities hosted by Wogan. And everyone says, oh, he gives his time for free. Yeah, and he has always done since people found out he wasn't giving his time for free. He was getting paid £1,300 an hour to stand there and point at an amount of money and say, oh, isn't that a good total? Yeah, it'd be slightly better if you weren't getting paid, you prick. I can't stand it. That's why 10th of July is my favourite day of the year. That's the furthest date on the calendar from Red Nose Day and Children in Need. That's the telethon equinox. The day on which TV celebrities statistically have the least compassion. They don't give a shit on that day. Wogan's legally allowed to batter a starving orphan to the ground with a leg of rare roast minted lamb. Boom! He fucking does it too. And Lenny Henry can bundle him into a pillowcase that he stole from Premier Inns. World can't touch him on that day. I'm not much better, admittedly. All right, sometimes I sit there and I watch those shows and he goes, uh, do you want to send a text to give three pound a month to these starving orphans? Yeah, I do. But my phone is over there charging and I don't want to fuck up iTunes by unplugging it. It's on the red, seriously. Plus, Takes two hands to eat this one kilogram bar of Cadbury's milk chocolate. I know I'm a hypocrite. I never said I wasn't. Fuck happened to my life. Bob Geldof has announced that Band Aid is reforming to re record their 1984 charity hit. Bearing in mind the advanced age of some of the artists, commentators have asked whether Do They Know It's Christmas is the song's title or a question by concerned relatives. Islamic State soldiers are said to be importing truckloads of energy drink Red Bull in an effort to give them an edge during the fighting. Perhaps the news that Red Bull doesn't actually give you wings hasn't reached them yet. Good luck in that court case. The Daily Mail had a headline that Britons are too lazy. The article allegedly discusses a number of ways to combat laziness, at least according to my Polish friend. TV presenter Chris Packham has called for Ant and Deck to stop animal abuse on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. He says the first step would be to allow the animals to stop watching the show. Yeah, when you watch that you think those poor dumb creatures. But they need the publicity. A virus that impairs cognitive functions and makes humans more stupid has been discovered. Scientists found this after putting Stephen Fry in a room with Joey Essex, and now Fry can't read good in my YouTube. There's an important royal birthday, sadly not big enough to give us another bank holiday, but still, here's Danny Gravity with a special report. Hello, I'm Danny Graffiti, Royal Correspondent, but then you know that already. So this week marks Prince Charlie's 66th birthday. 
that all-important milestone for someone who's perhaps still searching for a sense of purpose in his life, someone that still has to go around saying that he's an organic farmer. Not a real job, Charlie. But it's nice to see Prince Charlie taking a stand against benefit fraud, which costs UK taxpayers about 50p each and every year. Or as Prince Charlie calls her, mummy. We at News 500 are marking this special occasion with some of our own high points of Charlie's life. Like when he genuinely left a voicemail for Camilla, telling her that he uh, wanted to be her tampon. Saucy, eh? Saucy. <laughs> Did I say saucy? I meant sick. Or when he declined his weekly bus pass and everyone applauded him for it, despite the fact he actually owns a fleet of Aston Martins, one of which he converted to biofuel and runs off excess wine from his Highgrove estate. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, excess wine. Chill out and just drink it all, yeah? That's all from me, your News 500 Royal Correspondent. Back to the studio. He, he told her he wanted to be her tampon. That's fucking sick. I want to be your tampon. I want to be your tampon. Yeah, I want to be your tampon. I want to be your tampon. I want to be your tampon. Not with those big ears, you don't. The mother of cannibal murderer Matthew Williams claimed her son needed to be in hospital. Like the food in there would have put him off eating humans. Tampon. Scientists have made a discovery about bees this week. Apparently, due to climate change, bees have become more interested in sex than pollinating flowers. Given that bees are a major help in aiding flowers to reproduce, it's a discovery which proves cock blocking is a perfectly natural thing. Told you. I told you. You showed me. I showed you. The UK has opened its first sperm bank. In the past, much of the UK sperm was imported from America and Denmark, which explains why obesity has been in the rise in the UK, and also something else that would be stereotypically true about people from Denmark, but no one knows enough about them. Oscar Pistorius could be forced to stay in prison because an electronic tag will not fit his prosthetic legs. To find out more, we're joined by our South African crime correspondent, the busiest man in news, Eric McElroy. Hello, Steve. So, the tags don't fit his legs? Yes, Steve, but I think the bigger issue is you shouldn't put tags on a part of someone's body they can just take off. Hmm, good point. At least the police will know where his blades are at all times. With knife crime in London, it's a shame we can't do that over here. So, you're saying it's ineffectual? Steve, it's about as useful as trying to put handcuffs on Abu Hamza. BlackBerry has announced they won't be making any new phones. The image of the phones went into decline. Years ago, they were synonymous with professionalism, but more recently, they're just the thing that teenagers were fiddling with. Exactly the same thing that happened with Rolf Harris. They're being squeezed out of the smartphone market by the release of a new budget Android phone that's made in Malaysia. You can tell because when you put it in airplane mode, it crashes. Boom. That's all from News 500. To get your regular fix, subscribe now. The week's news in 500 seconds.